want to dive into one of my favorite all-time fast foods again. We did a video and we created a lot of stuff from Wendy's, but the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger was probably the hardest thing to say goodbye to when I stopped eating fast food. It took me a while, I was like, no, I'm sorry, I can't have to go. But the thing is, when you're younger and you're eating fast food, you don't really know. And as you get older, your body gets smarter and it's like, hey, this is not food, I should be eating it. But you still like it, so sometimes the best way to get away from that is just recreate it at home. It's gonna be better. You're using your own ingredients. And we're gonna show you today how to make the Junior Bacon Cheeseburger. So the first thing that is the most essential part to this is the bacon. Most people, they love bacon, but they just throw it in a pan, they cook it, and it gets burnt. It looks like shit, it's done. This right here, this. That's good bacon right there. This is perfectly cooked bacon. All we did. I can assure you. Yeah, Mike can assure Only too much of it, we need it for the, the, the thing, but I'll taste it too. The best way to cook bacon, put it in a nonstick pan and turn the heat up once the bacon's already in there. Then it brings the bacon up and it cooks it. When you put it in a really hot pan, it'll start to smoke, it'll start to firm. Also, it'll curl, and it will then curl. you won't get the direct surface. Yeah, I mean, look at this. It's like a straight, perfect piece of bacon. And the other thing is, when you're cooking it, you wanna watch it. You don't want the temperature to be too high. Keep it medium, medium, low, because once it starts to burn, you're screwed. Getting bacon perfect is about getting it to be crispy, but also a little bit meaty and chewy, too. Mm -hmm. Most people don't even know what I taste like because they didn't cook bacon right. The next step to the perfect junior bacon cheeseburger is the meat. I'm using 80-20 chuck, which pretty much means 80% lean, 20% fat. That's kind of on the higher end of fat. I just love the fat. You can use whatever you want, but the important thing is that it is super thin. If it's not super thin, if it tastes like a meaty burger, it's not gonna taste like the junior bacon. If you like it, that's fine, but I'm just telling you right now, Got to be thin. It ain't fast food if it ain't thin. Yeah. I guess that was the whole point because you can cook it very quickly if you don't throw it in an oven and it's super thin. And the other important part to this too is if you look at the bun and you compare the size of the bun to the burger, this thing when it cooks it's going to shrink up. It's going to try to puff up and shrink up. So two ways to combat that is to make the burger actually fatter than the bun is. And Wendy's they like to do their square their square experience. So we'll make it nice and square, but it's gonna be bigger. You'll see it will shrink up. So make it make it thinner than you can imagine because it's gonna get thicker. And I also like to put a little hole in the middle because sometimes burgers will puff up, you know, like so. Not a direct hole through, just a divot. If your beef looks a little bit brown on the outside just because it oxidized when it hit the air, it's okay, just mix it around, it's fine, it won't kill you. Won't make you like a mad cow. That looks now, great. Now, I put it on wax paper, so what I can do is just go like this. Genius. Boom. Make one more. Wendy says fresh, never frozen, right? Is that true? Yeah. There's I mean, no. I don't know if it's fresh, but it's never frozen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so as this guy cooks away, you're gonna see, it's gonna start to shrink up and it's gonna wanna pop up a little bit. That's why we kept it really, really thin. And you can play around with it. You can make one. I mean, these burgers, because they're so thin, you're not using that much meat, which is nice. Because you can make one, if it doesn't work properly, make another one. I think we're ready to flip this one, at least. No. No. Yay. That is perfect. Yeah, so you're really just looking for that nice caramelization of the beef around there. Not too burnt, but definitely you want some brownness. Look at that. And once they flip over, get these beautiful little cheese packets. You can use whatever cheese, but if you want it to taste like Wendy's, you're gonna have to use the Kraft Singles. You can use any kind of like yellow cheese, it will still taste great, but if you really want it to taste like Wendy's, unfortunately you gotta use this one. <laughs> It's okay though, it's still better for you than Wendy's. We're not interested in about being healthy, we're interested about making things for yourself and getting away from the fast food. Because no matter what you put in here, if you're making it yourself, it's gonna be better for you. It's a good bridge to get into cooking, and sometimes that's a good start, that's all that matters. Yeah. Now if you see this bun, Martin's rolls, Martin's makes all different types of rolls, they're potato buns, another essential part to the junior bacon. And they're soft and fluffy and they're delicious and they're the perfect size, the slider ones. Perfect size. So Mike's got that going on. Got the mayo on. 
slice that mass. Slice tomato. When you're picking tomatoes, you want them to be nice and firm. If they're if they're loose and juicy, don't even bother buying them. Yeah, put it down. Is that the way it goes? Yeah, why not? We gotta get this right, or Wendy's is gonna be pissed. I could care less. Just like junior bacon. Not as greasy, doesn't leave that weird taste in your mouth after you eat it. But the tape, the textures, everything about it. Next time you're craving fast food, think, would the Brothers Green do this? What I would the Brothers Green do? We try they, to make that shit at home. No try to make how it at hard home. It is. Ask us questions, we'll tell you how to make stuff. We'll go out, we'll sacrifice our bodies to taste the stuff. For you guys.